Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Classes. This is our another lab activity video and in this video we are going to perform an experiment which is related to the litmus paper and its reaction towards the acid and base. So here we are using blue and red litmus papers. So first you check the blue and red litmus paper colors, how they are looks like. So here is the blue color litmus paper and uh, this is how it looks like sometimes it is little darker but here it is very light actually and the red litmus is like this only so this is our red litmus so here i am just dipping this blue litmus to the acid so this is a strong acid hcl so here you can see this blue litmus turns into red and here it is the red litmus it dips into the again concentrated HCl so it doesn't change the color so it seems to be little darker just because of it is wet we are having ammonia solution so this is the litmus paper I am not dipping this into this and ammonia is having composition NH3 gas plus water it gives us NH4OH it has very strong fumes you can see this red litmus paper turns blue by the vapors of the NH4OH only. So here I dip much into the ammonia solution. Just to show you here this litmus paper when dipped into the acid it turns red. You see the reaction of fumes of ammonia on this litmus paper. So it turns blue just by the fumes of the ammonia gas. Here again I am showing it. This is my red litmus paper. I dipped this into the acid, strong acid. Now again you can check. You can see this. This corner is actually having excess of acid so that doesn't turn. Now you see the reaction on both blue and red litmus. So Colors are actually not that clear here. This red litmus again turns blue by the fumes when it is dry. You can see this, the same colors we observed here. Blue is blue, but red is also becomes blue because of the fumes of the NH4OH. So as I told you earlier, NH4OH is ammonia, NH3 plus water or we can say solution of ammonia in water. Ammonia is a basic molecule and uh, its basicity is because of the presence of the lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen. So somewhere else we are going to discuss that also when we are going to discuss the organic chemistry part. So here it is so beautiful and I like doing this experiment. So I suggest you must try it in your lab. It is safe but be cautious about the strong acid. So I hope you like this video. Thank you all. Thanks for watching.